going up for auditions and going up for different parts and repeatedly. Everything is possible and nothing is guaranteed. I certainly felt as though I had failed and uh, you can get very despondent. I think my worst experiences are are usually are usually quite solitary ones. The life of an actor, especially at the beginning, feels solitary. And I would always get close to to landing roles and to booking jobs, and I would never quite get there. And it's it's a I mean this is a universal experience for all creative people, certainly actors, is that the constant rejection at the beginning, and um, you have to get used to it, and you have to get thick-skinned about it. And the door will be closed in your face and you won't know why. And that moment is always a puzzling one because the natural instinct is to take it personally. And often the decision isn't personal. Um, but you feel as though, I certainly felt as though I had failed. And uh, you can get very despondent. The challenge is to find a way of negotiating that. Um, that sense of rejection, that sense of failure, without it eroding your sense of self. And I thought, well, no one's like, no one's gonna no one's gonna help me get there. The only person who can do this is me. Your your own specific talent and your own curiosity in the work. I think it doesn't matter at what stage you're at in your creative life or in your career, um, but. People will always have an idea of who they think you are. And often it's, it's inaccurate or not wholly accurate. And you mustn't let them change your, your own sense of who you are. Um, you have to plough your own furrow. Because only you know. And only you know what you had to go through to deliver that performance in that audition or on that stage or in that short film or film or, or television series and protect that with everything you have because all those people who think they know who you are didn't do the work and they don't know so um, have, have, have that faith in yourself.